I'm running photography, so I've got the speed light that I've never used on a job before, and it's on, so it's wasting battery. Love that. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass tomorrow morning. So this was a two day, technically one and a half day photo opportunity. A friend passed up on it and he recommended me. For these conferences, there's usually one big assembly to start the day and then they break out into different sessions. So you go session to session, get your pics, get your angles. Towards the end of the sessions, post up outside because that's when you can get some really good candids. People are getting their energy back. They're trying to figure out what they're gonna do for lunch or for happy hour. And you get some good interaction, some good candids. So this was my setup mainly through the day. I had my loop mix s5 the original not the 2 or the 2x with a canon fd mount 70 to 150 mil lens it's a vintage lens but it's in really good condition the speed light that was lent to me it proved a lot better than my speed light that i brought with me and the reason i've been using vintage canon fd lenses is l mount has many very beautiful lenses but they are all so expensive i'm not using autofocus on the panasonic anyway and it has good ibis plus the canon fd lenses have a very great look to them now that people are kind of catching on the prices are going up more but they come really cheap these days honestly you know no matter how nice the hotel is the hotel lighting is always atrocious it's always interesting to see how interview setups combat this hey i'm jonathan with inbound video pros we're doing some testimonial interviews at ipa vision it's a big conference here uh we've got our setup going on we've got two black magic pocket 4ks with uh 2470 on the wide shot and then i've got an essentially a 7200 on a tight shot these are really quick interviews, so my miking situation are these Hollyland, I believe it's a Lark system. It's a real quick mic. It just clips right on to the collar. I've got two if I end up needing to do a tandem interview. It goes right into this little receiver, into the camera, and my voice is pretty loud, so I'm going to tone that volume down, but the volume's going on right there. Um, I just set up my interviews. Got a foot marker a uh, 200 watt equivalent light. They talked to me off camera, asked some questions about uh, the conference, their interaction, um, stuff like that. Um, this is framed up like this. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple and sweet. Real uh, easy to use uh, setup. I don't know if it's tuned to my height, actually. The last person was about this tall, maybe. So it might be a little bit short for me. Don't hurt yourself, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jonathan was running mainly the Canon C70 all day for his run and gun stuff, and he had it on the gimbal. I feel like this is the sort of thing that Black Magic wants their stuff to be. It's just so much more ergonomic. It's that in between between a box style and a regular DSLR body, but it just seems like a really good package, and I just wonder where the trade off is there. Let me know what y'all think about the Canon C70. <laughs> so this conference was interesting. There was a complimentary headshot booth. My buddy Luke was manning that one. I believe they use an R5C. So as soon as you took the pictures, they would go to the laptop. You pick your selects. They're put on the iPad. The client could pick the ones that they liked and they could have it emailed to them via a link. It was a very seamless setup. So for the outdoor portion of the event, I got my Canon FD 28 to 85 zoom lens, vintage lenses in general. They're often slightly radioactive. There is a radiated compound in the glass, so don't sleep with it under your pillow or hold it up to your head for an hour. It's also just good practice not to keep an irradiated lens fixed to your camera to protect the sensor. Better safe than sorry. Overall, the shoot went pretty smoothly, very easy gig. No snags until the very end when we were breaking down the headshot booth. One thing led to another and we had a strobe light fall over and the bulb busted. Luckily though, we had insurance, so everything was covered. But you know, that's the way things go sometimes. Once we wrapped the outdoor portion of the event, I decided to speak with Luke on camera, Luke McDonald. I figured it would be good to get some of the thoughts we were talking about on camera. I'm a photographer, um, a photographer's assistant, also a digital tech uh, out here in Dallas, Texas. I do it for all kinds of shoots, 
headshots, fine art, dance. I also do uh, commercial stuff, and then I also work on film sets as a BTS photographer. The dream for me is to honestly just become self-sufficient while doing the thing that I love. So I don't want to scale up too big. But the biggest challenge I'm facing right now, honestly, is finding a consistent inflow of clientele, and then also finding clientele that values me in the way that I need to be to make a living. The biggest learning experience for me has been kind of getting onto film sets and getting more involved in that world and understanding my place and what to say and when to say it and then also kind of learning how and when to let loose and just be a person and have a personality. It's something that I'm learning to balance but yeah um, a lot of times I can present as almost too professional and sometimes I can almost get too comfortable as well so it's really just finding a balance between the two. Right now, the best way to connect to me is uh, through my Instagram. Instagram has my email. Uh, I'm building out a website right now. It should be coming live in the next month or two. But other than that, if there's anyone who's in a similar spot to me, willing and ready to test, try new things, just reach out to me, hit me up. I'm always down to collaborate with different new people. So I mean, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think I finished at six. Uh, Robert, let's wake up. Another photo gig wrapped. I was gonna wear the same outfit to a concert tonight. I'm just so fucking sweaty. It's getting cooler here in Texas, but it's still really fucking hot. So we'll see.